Hi, this is Kim Fiend, and uh, in this tutorial we're going to look at the flame tool. Okay, so I've got a, a new image, 640 by 480. So I'm going to go to Filters, Render, Nature, Flame. Okay, so we've got two tabs here. Uh, our different options here and uh, the camera view. Now the first thing to do if we click on edit brings up this window and there's uh, nine different variations on this on this image here. Now you can uh, over here click on this down arrow you've got these different types of uh, flames. Uh, so let's start off with this one here, linear. Now you can choose one of these nine, let's say this one here, and it becomes in the center and then you've got variations on on that one there. So you can sort of move towards the image you want. Or if you don't like any of them you can click on random until you see one you like. So once you've found one you like, you can go OK. Uh and so here it is here. So we can change the view a little bit, we can zoom out or just position it a little bit better in the page. Okay, now uh, we can add color to it. There's some presets here, but not many. You can um, choose a custom gradient. So th there's a a gradient tool here. If you don't have this dialog, you can click on the, the configure this tab button and add tab, and then select gradients and then this uh, will appear. So we can select uh, some colors. I'm going for German flag smooth. Now it doesn't appear here until you, you just have to click off it and then click back on. So now we have our custom gradient. I might just choose this one here instead. Okay. Now we've got these options here. Now the first thing I think generally you have to do is turn the brightness and contrast up. Alright, so we'll click OK and see how that looks. It's not too bad. Now I'm just going to go Control Z to undo and Shift Control F to bring up the options again. And now some of these things um, you can add a little more, a little bit more detail. Increase the gamma. Go okay, OK. Just makes a little bit more of these these bits down here. Control Z, Shift Control F to bring up the option. Now, uh, if you want to make the image a bit more sharper, you can increase the spatial oversample. You've got options one to one to four. Let's try turning it right up. Okay, so the image is a bit is really sharp now. You can see a nice quite a bit of contrast there. Control Z, Shift, Control F. If you want to make it um, slightly softer, you can uh, increase the spatial filter radius, so it gives it more of a blurred look. Okay, That's, that looks really good. Control Z, Shift Control F. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So we'll just try turning the sample density up as well. Okay. Not a lot of difference there. Control 
Control Z, Shift Control F. I think that's everything. I think uh, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click OK. And actually, I think it would look better on a black background, so I'm going to go New Image, uh, Foreground Color is Black. And I'm just going to go to Filters, Repeat Flame. that when you do it a second image it, it makes the background transparent so I'm just going to quickly do another layer and bring it behind okay that looks pretty good now should we do another one quickly So I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to do filters, render, nature, flame, uh, and this time we'll go to edit, and we'll select uh, okay, spherical. Go OK. We'll change the. Uh, Bring it in the center a little bit. I'm going to change the color. Go to the gradient tab and choose this Romanian flag smooth. Let's see, I'll turn the gamma down. the background image up. Alright, so a little bit different now. So that's basically how you use the, um, the flame tool. Um, so this is uh, Gimfiend, thank you for watching.